watch this video until the end and you will never spill any alcohol ever again. Okay, first I would recommend to choose the jigger, the one you're most comfortable to work with. Uh, for me personally, I like to use this uh, Japanese uh, skinny jigger just because, you know, it's really comfortable for me to do tricks with it. But for some of you, it might be much more comfortable to use this jigger, so it's just you already will be spilling less. This jigger goes from like $1 to about $10 or so. I'm going to leave them all in the description for you to check out. Next tip, I would recommend to hold jigger as close as possible to your glass when you're pouring. So it's pretty much you pour two ounces and you're ready to pour instead of just, for example, if you grab jigger and then uh, fill it up all the way to top and then it's like really, really <laughs> challenging to bring it over here. That's why I would just recommend to hold it right here. If you use two ounces, you're still filling up all the way till the top, so you're pretty much ready to pull right away and there is no spill. So you're just holding it as close as possible. So. Same when you use only one ounce. So. I'm practicing with water and you should too. But if you're really new to pouring into jiggers, you can just uh, practice with only an uh, empty bottle a few times so you just know exactly like what that's the movement. One, two, because you want to do it quick. So, pam, pam. <laughs> Sorry about this car. Next one I already kind of showed you in my different tricks with jiggers, but that's pretty much goes like this. If you pour in maybe one ounce, what you can do instead of just uh, holding it here and pour, which sometimes there is a chance you might spill a little bit. So let's say if your bottle is completely full, what you can do, you can just cover it first and then put it like this upside down. So, and then lift it up and pour. One, two, three. Let me show it to you with liquid. Absolutely the same when you pour two ounces. You pour it from bottle with the pour spot into this part, so sometimes this might happen. See, there was like a little, little tiny spill. That's why I highly recommend just instead of put bottle upside down, see there's always a little spill, like most of the time. Uh, turn it slowly into this position, ready to pour, and only then put it straight. It goes like this, it's a little bit slower and then faster. Okay, next, when you actually pour something like a premium liquor without a pour spot, something like, like we don't really have premium liquor. <laughs> okay, yeah, you pour something without a pour spot and the thing is, I would recommend to hold bottle somewhere like in the middle or even closer to bottom. So that's why when you hold it, it's actually less chances to spill rather than, for example, if you holding it somewhere right here so it's like i know this it's more challenging that's why you should be holding it either here or closer to bottom it's just you will even fulfill you have a lot more control Ooh. if you pouring uh, from the pour spot it's the other way around so it will be really really hard if in and awkward if you hold it like this so there is more chances to spill i would recommend just to hold bottle by the neck that's that's the way best way Okay, this is really important. When you actually already finished uh, pouring into the jigger, let's say two ounces or so, you should take your time and try to pour on top of ice slower because if you just dump it really quick, this is what's gonna happen. So you see, it just goes over ice and there is massive spill. Of course, it's totally okay when you pour into shaker or into mixing glass, so this one's totally fine. But if you have ice, so you stop and then you pour slowly over ice. By the way, I know there's a lot of new people on the channel. Uh, if you guys missed the video we made way earlier how to avoid spills when you do bar tricks, I'm gonna leave a link here, so go check it out. And here is the best tip for you. So you're never gonna spill anything from your jigger if you actually hit subscribe and like button right now. Please always tag me to your proud work on Instagram. I definitely would love to go see it. Slide all your questions into my DM. Thank you so much for spending just a few minutes per week with me. I will see you in the next video by Bloodslick Bartender. Fuck.